Hey guys, I hope your day is going great. Actually got some rain really exciting because we went about I think eight days with no rain and uh, we had to water a few times had to keep up with that but uh, it looks like the rain rain came for a full day now we're getting a little bit of Sun uh, pretty exciting today is going to be harvest day so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how some of the things we do to harvest uh, today is going to be four different types of greens we have regular green oak leaf lettuce we have a mixture of different leaf lettuces we have uh, two different kales uh, blue scotch and crimson kale that we mix together and we also have an amazing swiss chard so stay tuned okay guys the first thing i'm going to harvest today is our crimson and uh, blue scotch kale i've interplanted them as you can see in this bed and I'm kind of going at a rotation. Uh, I hit up the ends and then um, I'm, I miss the middle. So you can't really tell right now because the ends have already grown back up. To so make sure that you have a really nice sharp knife. This is a very sharp, uh, it's just a steak knife that's not serrated. Um, clean it off real good and uh, this will allow you to make a nice clean cut whenever you're cutting. One of the cool things about growing certain greens is they're what's called a cut and come again crop. So the lettuces that I grow, I can cut them down and within a week and a half or two weeks, the spot that I cut is grown back up. This allows you, especially if you're not cutting the entire bed, this allows you uh, one bed to last you about a month. I'm gonna do a little bit of cutting of the kale and I'm gonna bring you along for the ride. All right guys, stay tuned. As you can see, I've cut one, two, three, four, five, six. I've cut about, I don't know, maybe 20 kale plants already. And I already have a good amount in my harvest bucket. But there's a question that gets, that gets asked me all the time. And that is, um, do you wash your greens or do you not wash your greens? Um, now this all depends. A lot of times your kales, you don't need to wash. They um, water will wash off a lot of the dirt that accumulates on them. Uh, so kale is not really that important that you wash. Lettuces, lettuces tend to gather more flowers, um, flower leaves from trees, things like that. When you get a hard rain, the lettuce gathers dirt on the bottoms. So a lot of times I do wash my lettuce. What happens when you wash, it takes a big amount of the shelf life off of the lettuce so I don't like that you know if I could just dry what I have and make it ready to go uh, it, it, you know that would last two or three weeks in the in the um, refrigerator it still does last a good amount of time but as you can see I'm harvesting through this kale right now what's really cool and I'm gonna show you up close and when I say cut and come again what this means is I can cut these big stalks off of here okay so you're looking at these big pieces that I just cut and look what's coming up next we're getting this and we're getting this this is going to continue to grow up in about two weeks that will be what I'll be cutting next all right so when you plant yourself a nice 30 to 35 foot bed of kale, you're gonna constantly have kale all year. 
Matter of fact, I'll probably harvest, I wanna say 10 pounds out of this bed right now. So 10 pounds will be 20 bags and that'll be gone tomorrow, but we'll still have plenty for me and Janine to eat. So pretty excited. All right, let me get back to work. Cut about a 10 foot section of our kale bed and what you can see it's pretty good I, I probably have about five pounds i would say beautifully awesome delicious organically grown kale all right stay with me all right guys so we're going to come back to that question do i wash or do i not wash so this is when after i harvest i do a little spot inspection i start looking through my greens and kale is pretty easy uh, not much as far as aphids or things like that get on the kale so i start looking at both sides i pick up a bunch of random pieces you know got a couple holes maybe some slugs got to that one but as i look through here i don't see any bugs there's a few random leaves from other things i have this very annoying tree that is not on my property but is over top of some of my greens beds that it has white flowers on it and it um i think all of them are blown off now because of all the wind we've had in the last couple days so this is where i, I think to myself i weigh my options should i take this kale and wash it and take some of the life out of it or should i leave it be i think i am going to wash it okay so that and that'll get me my wash water ready for everything because i, I, I have a lot of those leaves and i don't want to sell that's one thing i don't want to do is when i sell my product i don't want to sell see i don't want to sell that leaf either so this, these are things that i'm going to go ahead and get rid of so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash out my um, wash tub and you can see the process. important when you're using a wash tub especially when you're washing outside you know I'm not using stainless steel I'm just using this gigantic rubber made wash tub the greens aren't in here for long but it's extremely important that you wash it out uh, with a little bit of a bleach solution just to make sure you're killing off any kind of bacteria or anything that may be in it so I'm gonna use this water I'm gonna only use it for one harvest day so this water only gets used once because this is a gigantic hundred gallon tub so, so stay tuned, I'm gonna wash the kale. Remember this tub has been sanitized this is when you can see things like this that you can catch that may have gotten cut with 
the greens. This is like an inspection. I got a little clover here. Uh, anything that's growing in there is really not going to harm anything. Um, might be a little bit of a bitter taste or something like that. So I'm getting rid of, in the washing process, can get rid of all these other organic, all this other organic material that I'm seeing I can get rid of. And this is one of the reasons that I decided to wash this batch because I saw some weeds and I saw some things that are a little bit less desirable. And I, this is the time you can get rid of them. When your bubbler is down, you can leave the hose in and that can get rid of some of this stuff. There we go. Alright guys, it's nice and rinsed. I always give everybody the disclaimer as well when I'm selling these greens that I've washed them. But please wash them again. You know, you never know. Be responsible for yourself. <laughs> cool about kale is how quickly it dries. It has almost a waterproof barrier on the outside of the leaves. So the drying process doesn't take as long as it does with lettuce. last inspection before it goes into the bags and remember I always tell people wash it again with bagging I always make sure to be very consistent with how much I'm putting in the bags efficient ways to do this with machines and stuff but here you go guys it's a nice eight ounce washed bag of crimson and um, blue scotch kale mm -hmm.